Before I came here, I was told about a young chef who holds cookery classes. Cookery classes all over the world are now de rigueur. And it's not just Tuscany and Padstow. Joke. Lassen Becky is showing his students how to make one of the most popular dishes here, lamb and prune tagine. In Morocco, the, the best way to eat a good food is with the family in Morocco. And what I try to do is, like, we go to the souk, we pick up ingredients, and we cook, like, in a home. So you've just got um, tomato on the bottom and onion. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I will put meat. Yeah, it looks like shoulder of lamb, is it? Yeah, yeah it's a shoulder, yeah. Uh, I fried in olive oil. Yeah, first. Uh, first, yeah. And later I will add some juice. What I like in this, you cook it for a long time and until the meat take off all the flavor, the spice, herbs, and, and everything. When the steam come up, yeah. we put the, uh, bring the steam in the top, and there, there is a hole, there you can put cold water. You put water there? Yeah, you put cold water here. Oh, I didn't and, realize that. Yeah, and yeah, it comes down, the steam comes down, water, juice. So it just, mm. that makes the steam condense. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's told me that before. Yeah. So in the tagine, he puts a generous bunch of parsley, cinnamon, cumin, ginger and saffron. And this time, his students have come from America. What brought you all to, to Morocco for, for cookery classes? Why do you like Moroccan food? I think Moroccan food is one of the most sophisticated cuisines in the world, and I love this, the mixture of spices and the ingredients they use. I love the culture of the country. So together, those things bring me here. To add the sweetness to the tagine, Lassen stuffs the prunes with almonds and then dips them in lightly toasted sesame seeds. This is by any stretch of the imagination a really good-looking dish. Things like the fruit here are not just chucked together and stirred in. This is a display. So when the tagine lid is lifted at the table, you go, wow. He's going to serve it with a vegetable tagine, and it's made with courgettes, onions, and a sauce of fresh tomatoes cooked with olive oil and garlic. And this tomato base is common everywhere, regardless of where you are in the Mediterranean, North Africa, or Europe. Now he adds cumin, probably the most used spice in Morocco, and then black pepper and paprika, then some dried chili flakes and salt. Before he started cooking, Lassen was a shepherd boy in the high pastures in the Atlas Mountains. And lots of the dishes I've discovered on my travels in the Mediterranean come from two sources, and that's fishermen and shepherds. Finally, he puts in some already fried aubergines and green peppers and lets the tagine work its magic. It's customary in cookery schools to eat what you've been cooking all morning. And I couldn't wait.